but this is pretty cool. Um, today's date is 11 7 22, and we're going to graph inequalities. Does anybody know what an in 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 uh, an inequality is? We'll try to see if you know it. If you don't know it, it's fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure you've all seen in elementary school or maybe last year uh, this symbol. Yeah. Okay. What does this symbol mean? Less than or greater than? Less than or greater than? Less than or greater than? Less than No. <laughs> yes, it is the alligator from elementary school. This symbol is the less than. Okay? So therefore, write this down. This symbol is your greater than. No. Is a positive number the same thing as a negative number? No. They look alike. They're very similar, but totally different, right? So these are totally different symbols. They mean totally different things. Less than, greater than. Okay, so here is how I need you to memorize this for the rest of your life. So every single time now, if a teacher shows you this or this, you know the difference, you don't mess it up. Okay, this one, this is your less than. Do you guys see how it's the same direction as the L? You see that? So that's how you're gonna memorize it. So the one that's in the same direction as an L, obviously it's not the perfect 90 degree L, but it's the same direction, that's the one that says less than. So the one that looks more like an L in the same direction as an L is the less than. The one that's totally not in the direction of an L, that's the greater than. Got it? What if they have a line under them? Huh? Yes. But that, does, that doesn't, def that, you need to understand that this one is less than because it looks like the L. 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 Got it? This one, probably newer to some of you. What do you think that one is called? Well, what is this called? No. Less than equal. Less than equal. Yeah. Yeah, ish, 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 ish. Well, I mean, it's common sense, right? Because you know what that means now, right? And then what does that come from? An equal sign, right? It's half an equal sign. So, later, we're going to write it as less than, right? Because that's that symbol, right? That's that less than symbol. Or equal to. So, this means two things. Less than or equal to because it's two symbols in one. It's the less than symbol plus an equal sign, wait, half an equal sign. So well, greater than or greater than or equal to? Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh. This means this top part, part is greater than or equal to. Okay? So those are your inequalities symbols. Why are you on your iPad? Alex. No. I will reset it if you're doing Alex when I'm teaching. Alex is to be done when you have extra time. You don't have extra time right now. You have time to learn. All right. Does, any, does everybody remember where these symbols come from? No. Elementary school? Uh, no. Right? Like, yeah, seriously. I mean, we laugh, but... So, okay, so in elementary school, you had, you know, literally the alligator. The alligator eats the bigger number, right? So, which symbol goes in there? Greater than, right? So, you would do that in elementary school, right? So, it's the same kind of um, idea now in seventh grade. But we don't have two numbers. We will have a variable involved. All right. 
I'm going to show you something that makes no sense to you whatsoever. I want you to draw four circles right next to each of them. Okay, four circles right next to each of them. And I want you to shade in the last two. All right. These two that are on the top are called open circles. And these two that are shaded are called closed circles. Correct. True. Open circles and closed circles. I guess it's called closed because it's the opposite of open. What would you say opposite of shaded is? Not shaded? Not shaded. It's too much, too much, too much. All right. Now I told you that that would not make any sense to you whatsoever. Okay, what does the open and closed circle mean? Exactly. Oh, they're type of all right, so. Wow. Wow. Whoa. I should stop now. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. And we're done. All right. So, we are going to learn how to graph an inequality. Okay. Now, you might not understand it, the very first problem, but by the time the bell rings, you'll be a master at this. Okay, so x is less than 2. So in 5th grade, 4th grade, 3rd grade, you had two numbers to compare, right? In 7th grade, we only give you one number, and the other number is a variable. Now, what does a variable mean? A variable means a number. A letter, a letter uh huh. Do we know what number? No. no. It can mean any number, negative, positive, decimal, fractions, right? Now I'm looking for a number that is less than two. One. All right, Dylan. You can even go into the negatives, right? We don't limit ourselves to just positive numbers like zero and one. Yeah. Zero is not even positive. Um, the possibilities of x in this problem are infinite. There's so many possibilities, which is why we graph. Oh, you gotta, I say, uh, I say you gotta find uh, like any number that's less than two that's in, in that any of those could be the answer and that's it. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is different though. All right. See this number? See this number? Whatever this number is, you're going to put it right in the middle of your number line. Whatever this number is, here. How do kids make it harder? They put zero in the middle. It's like, no, no, no. Whatever this number is, put it right there. Now, give me two numbers that are less than this number in order and the next two numbers above it. So, like, fill in a number line. So, what two numbers are immediately lower than two? So one and zero. And then what are the two numbers that are after two? All right, so far so good? Yep. Okay, now, you are going to place a circle on top of whatever this number is. Now, you, the number one thing that you can get wrong is, is it an open circle or is it a closed circle? So this symbol is less than, so you go to your chart, that symbol is that one. And we have an open circle, and I'll tell you why it's open in a second. So we're going to put an open circle on the 2. Okay? So you're going to put your circle on top of this number. This number goes in the middle. This is where your circle goes. Okay. Now, in which direction do I shade? In which directions are the numbers less than 2 on the left or on the right? Left. Left. On the left. So we're going to shade to the left because these are the numbers that are possible solutions for my inequality. 
What does that mean? I'm looking for numbers that are less than two, right? And there's an infinite number of numbers. I mean, we can sit here for the next five weeks and name them all. We won't even name them all. Okay, infinite. So, um, one, so you would check, but this is, I'm gonna prove to you why it's open in a second. Is one less than two? Yes. Is zero less than two? Yes. Yep. Is three less than two? No. Is four less than two? No. So this is, you see how this, the alligator is not eating the bigger number here? This is why we do not shade the three and the four. Here the alligator is eating the bigger number. That's why we shade in this direction. That's the shading part. So you want to make sure the alligator is eating the bigger number. Here, alligator's not happy because you're not feeding it the bigger number. Same thing here. So I'm using like ideas that you learn in elementary school, like the alligator eating the bigger number, literally in seventh grade because it makes sense. All right, here's the open and closed circle. Is two less than two? No. No, it's equal. It's equal. That's why we don't shade it. So the circle is like a placeholder. If it was shaded, then that means that this number is a possible solution, is a possible number I can use. But two is not less than two, it's equal to. So that's why it's an open circle. Open circle means the two is not actually a number I can use. It does not satisfy this, okay? It does not satisfy this. All right, there's a lot of stuff to be done here. Um, it's actually, in 20 minutes, it's not gonna be difficult at all. Right now, there's a lot of things happening. Okay. Do I expect you to have it mastered on the first problem? No. no. Yes, I never use body at all. I understand it. All right. What does this problem say? What does this inequality say altogether? Yeah, so, because in a couple of weeks, these are your answers. So I'll be like, oh, um, you know, Kevin, what's your answer? And your answer, correct, would be x is less than or equal to 7, Miss Amon. I'd be like, oh my god, yes. If you just say less than or equal to, I'll be like, what? I don't get it. Um, these will be your answers in a couple of weeks. It's going to be great. <sighs> All right, we're going to do a number line. What's the first thing I told you to do? Good. So put the 7 in the middle. And then first, put two other numbers on both. Two numbers on both sides, and there's no need to skip. You do the two that are right next to the seven and the two that are right above seven. Ain't no need to skip around. Then you look at like the symbol and then put open circle. Close circle. Five, seven, eight, nine. All right. Open or closed circle? Well, there's three closed and two open because it's greater it or equal. Right. Oh, but your circle is only on this number. Yeah, it's closed. So this is like your placeholder. Like where does, you know, where do you start? You start on seven. This symbol is less than or equal to. So if I look at my chart that I created, the less than or equal to has a closed circle. No, so, oh, sorry, greater than um, has a closed circle. Okay, so that's your first, like when you're, when I'm checking your answers, that's the first thing I check. Is it an open or closed circle? Okay, now I'm looking for numbers that are greater than or equal to seven. Which side has the numbers that are greater than or equal to seven? The right, right side. side, eight, nine, whatnot. So this is the way I shade. And I put an arrow at the end. Does anybody know why we put an arrow at the end? No. My trade is going in that direction. So that's uh, those are possibilities. Arial? Yeah, this means it keeps going. My number line stopped. Could I make you do like, oh, can you do 10 numbers on the left and the right? Yeah, but why would I? 
This tells you it keeps going in that direction, but it keeps going forever. Could I have the number 100 here? Yes, right? It keeps going. Now, why is it a closed circle? Because does is 7 greater than or equal to 7? Well, it's right there, right? Because it says 7 is greater than or equal to 7. Yeah, it's a equal to, right? So this works. That's why it's closed. Is 8 greater than 7? Yes. yes. But if I were to shade 5, is 5 greater than or equal to 7? No. no. That's, where, that's why we can't shade this way. You can only shade in one direction. You shade the numbers that make it true, that make you happy. Don't shade in the directions that make you sad. Are we okay? Yeah. All right. Try graphing this one on your own. This, okay. So the graph is your answer. The open, closed circle, which way you shade, that's your answer. Okay? Huh? Um, yeah, so like... You can ride the roller coaster if you're uh, greater than or less, no, greater than or equal to the age of seven. Can you ride the roller coaster if you're 10? Yes. Could you ride the roller coaster if you're five? No, because no, you wouldn't be greater than or equal to seven. So we can do that. This X is less than or equal to five. You can go on the little train at the mall if you're less than or equal to five years old. What about high limit? High limit. Oh. Don't bring height into this. Oh, height, yeah. These, these would make more sense if it's height, but looking at my numbers, Aiden, I was like, oh, let's do age. <laughs> Dylan. All right. Did you graph it? Yeah. So. Easy? Yep. So, your graph is your answer. Because it's like, I'm looking for a number that's less than or equal to 5. Can you list all the numbers that are less than or equal to 5? No. So, you graph it. And on your graph, you're telling me all the numbers that are less than 5. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now, the hardest one is when we start dealing with negatives. X is less than negative 10. Oh, negative 9. Yeah. So, one mistake right off the bat, kids don't place the numbers on the left and on the right correctly. So I always tell my kids, where is zero? Zero will always be on the left of your negative numbers. That's the right. That's the right. That's the right. I was just trying to see if you were paying attention. <laughs> yeah, on the right. Huh? Yeah. Zero is always on the right. No, not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, no, yeah, it's always on the right. Because it goes, oh. Sometimes it's in the middle. No, but when you have negative numbers. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry. Let's say that one more time. Let's erase everything I said in the past minute. When you're in the negative land, in the negative numbers, um, the number one mistake kids do is they'll put the numbers on the wrong side, on the left and the right. They're, they'll switch them. So I always tell my students, where would the zero be? So the zero will always be on the right-hand side, right? If you don't get it, well, like, this would be 10 over here, right? So 10, 0, negative 10, right? So what are the two numbers here and the two numbers here? It's, it's, go slow. So on the right side, what would this number be? Good. And then these, this number would be? So that's a mistake I see over and over again, okay? Open or closed circle? Open. Open. 
So which numbers are less than negative 10? Negative 11, negative 12, negative 50. All of these numbers over here would be... Um, They're not less, though. Yeah, they are. Because everything in the negative land is backwards, right? Negative 50 is less than negative 10. Okay? Everything in the negative land is backwards. Even though you feel like, hey, that's 50, Miss Amalia. It's a big number. Yeah? But it's smaller than negative 10. Is this Ms. O'Malley? Yes. Good morning. Hi. Okay, I'll send them up. Thanks. Bye. Open or closed circle? Close. 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 Okay. So that's half the battle, knowing if it's open or closed. If you see that extra line, it's closed. If you see that extra line, it's closed. So negative 17 goes there. Zero would go over here. Eric, can you go to the library? Librarian wants to see you. Librarian. That extra little line makes it closed. So I wrote these two little lines, but what number would this be? Good. And these two numbers would be? 18 and 19. Good. Make sure they're negative. Okay. So I'm looking for numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 17. Right. 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 Or it could be um, negative 17 equal to I wish I could be negative The numbers? The, the, worksheet the shading? No, like the, um, what do you need to do? Oh, okay, I get it. So, um, we're confused on what the symbol means. So, um, this symbol, well, it means two things. Well, let's break it down to this one, right? This one, what is this one again? Less, 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 less. No, greater than, greater than, stupid, out. Huh? I mean, not wrong. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> greater than. I'm looking for numbers that are bigger, bigger than, greater than, larger, Okay, so these are all words that mean bigger, right? Greater than, bigger, larger. So X is greater than negative one. So I'm looking for numbers that are bigger, larger, greater than negative one. That's what this symbol means, okay? If I put a line underneath, that mean, just means it could be equal to it. Like negative one is equal to negative one. All that little line means is equal to. All right. If I have this symbol, what does this symbol stand for? Less than, less than smaller. What's another word? Bigger, larger, less than, smaller, tinier. tinier. <laughs> sure. Tinier. So, shorter. 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 so here I'm looking for a number that's then you. This symbol you say less than. So x is less than negative one. Oh, which numbers are less than, smaller than negative one? And you have to have a really good understanding 
that when you do negative numbers, the, the further you go to the left, the smaller you go, right? But unfortunately, a lot of times kids have a hard time understanding that, wait a minute, you're telling me that negative 100 is smaller than negative one? Yes. What's worse, you owe me $100 or you owe me a dollar? A dollar. Oh, wait, what's worse? Oh, worse. What's worse? Owing me negative 100, right? You owe me more. But so it's smaller. What if I owe you 50 cents? What if I owe you 20? That's 25. What about 100 pennies? Can that work? I haven't seen pennies. 100 pennies is 50 cents. Can 100 pennies work? I haven't seen a penny in a long time. What if I owe you a buck? Oh, 100 pennies is $10. Yeah. I do, bro. 100 pennies is a I forgot pennies existed. I always have change on it. Nickels. I've seen pennies where I look at them. You don't put barbecue stuff on your Okay, it's going to be cool. I'll mod that. It's going to be cool. If you got skits, you don't get up. There you go. All right. Uh, my suggestion, maybe, would be to have these notes. So you know, okay, open or close circle, right? Um, should be fairly easy. These number lines, you didn't create them, right? So the ones that people create, they always start uh, zero in the middle. That's cool if they create it. When you create them, don't put zero in the middle. Put your number. So, number one, open or closed circle? Closed. On the negative two. So find negative two, put a closed circle. That's your first job. Close or open circle. You can look at this to figure out if it's closed or open. Now, you read the problem. X is greater than So use your chart and start saying them in your head so they stick. Because on the test, you won't have your chart. You would have to memorize them by then. So practice in your head or out loud. X is greater than, because it's this one, or equal to negative 2. So then you start thinking, which numbers are greater than, bigger, larger than negative 2? Left or right? Right. right. Yeah. Right. This is the left side. This is the right side. Which numbers are greater than? Right. On the right. right side. So we shade to the right. <laughs> because I'm looking for numbers that are greater than. Okay, this means greater than. Number two, open or closed? Open. 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 On which number? Oh, the five. five. So you read it. X is, look at this symbol. Less oh, than. less than five. So I'm looking for numbers that are less than five. Less. To the left. Less. 